One-to-one -one remoting is a fairly easy feature to use in Windows PowerShell. We'll take a look at the Enter PS Session commandlet, and this is what allows us to start an interactive session with a single remote computer. As you can see, we can provide its computer name, and if we need to modify any of the defaults, such as the authentication, or the port that we're using, or whether or not we want it to use SSL, we have different switches that can specify all of those things. But at its simplest, we simply have to say enter PS session and then provide the computer name that we want to get to, such as server r2. Wait a few seconds for WinRM to negotiate that, and you'll notice that the prompt actually changes. This tells me that I'm now on server r2, and I can run whatever commands I want to run. When I'm finished, I simply run exit PS session, and you'll notice that the prompt changed and I'm back on my local computer. It's kind of important to keep track of that prompt. When you're on a remote computer, you only want to run commands that are going to run entirely on that remote computer. You don't want that remote computer to have to create another remote connection. In fact, a lot of times that won't actually work. You see, when you create this remoting connection, you're asking by default the Kerberos protocol to delegate your credentials to the remote computer so that any commands you run on the remote computer are run under your credentials and will have whatever privileges you run. That delegation does not give the remote computer the ability to further delegate your credentials. So if you've entered a remote session, what you don't want to do is run enter PS session again. You don't want to remote from this middle computer to a third one. Keep everything just between the two of you. Before you create another remote connection, exit this one, come back to your local computer, verify that the prompt has changed, and then you'll be able to create a new session. When you do engage this remote session with a remote computer, any profile script that you may have on the remote machine will not run. You will, however, still be limited to whatever permissions your user account has, which is why, in some cases, you may want to specify an alternate credential. So if I'm not running this shell as a user account that has permissions to do what I need to do on the remote machine, then I would add dash credential to enter PS session. I would provide the username that I wanted to be on the remote computer, I would be prompted for the password, and the remote session would be created using that credential rather than the one that I used to run PowerShell on my local computer.